Hey everyone guys, my name is Porechka and I am a bit of a Tarkov streamer my myself. Today I'm gonna show you all the hidden stashes uh, currently known to me on the brand new map from BSG called The Lighthouse. I'm apologizing for my English because it really sucks, but still I'm thinking that information is more important in that case. Let's not get the time wasted and get going. So we are right now on um, on the place. Actually, we are on the rock, but this place called New Village. And there are an old village and a bit further you can see an ex-USEC military base, which is not actually a base, but a water station right there you see cottage number two after there will be cottage number one there is a sniper rock and after cottage number one there will be exit that's just for your understanding i'm telling this info just for understanding so we are gonna start with the hidden stash number one which is located near exit called uh, path to shoreline should need to st step myself with that sj6 so it would be helpful so right now we are passing the new village Extract is uh, already can be like redeemed. You can go out and exit from this place, but as far as we need to find those hidden stashes, we are not going out of this map. What we need to do is we need to go up. So you can see the village where I was just like five minutes, maybe less ago. It wasn't actually five, it was like two. Okay, so here's the first hidden stash. You can see the fence. There is also you can also extract from this angle, I would like to call it. And the first stash is located near this stone af after this bush. So here it is, the stash number one. Stash number two, we are going basically forward, the whole road I'll build today for you guys is like a circle based so we come back to the new village we, we are basically doing the circle around the map so here's the first point of view the two rocks we are running forward okay there is another pile of rocks oh I actually almost missed the <laughs> another hidden stash okay as far as you pass those two rocks i was talking about you see the other one the more wider and not that high of a rock another hidden stash located near his like corner i, I would like to say so here it is it's hidden stash number two The next stash would be placed after this small lake, so we need to pass it as well. Here is also one of the spawns of the PMC, so if you spawn right there you can go this road and it would be another entrance to the water station. But be careful if you are a beer player, it would be a really tough one for you in this wipe. I am actually one. Careful, there is a mines as well. There is one of the path to there, please. Okay, here's the third like point of for you to track your moves. Here is a big lake, the biggest one. We are just running across it. We wanna go there. Let me show you a bit of a view so you can understand where we are. 
that's warehouse number three. That's number one. That's number two. And there are our third hidden stash. To locate it, you can basically see at the tree that are closest to the rock. And here it is. Basically stand on it. Hidden stash number three. Got it. The next two hidden stash stashes would be placed in the train station, but the number fourth would be there, near the third warehouse. Be careful if you are any player, any kind of player, you will be sniped from there and maybe many times before. So we are running to the stash number four. It's kind of easy to find those stashes on the lighthouse. The only thing is basically you are missing all the other stuff, but that's okay if you run in this roads. Okay, that's hidden stash number four. Near the warehouse number three. Here's the number. Okay. A little of explanation. There you have a, your extract with BMC, the car exit. And there you have a scaf exit, which called some kind of zone, industry zone, or I can't recall it correctly right now. I'm sorry. Okay, so here we are in the train station. There is a, your exit with the train, and here is your another fifth hidden stash. You can actually snipe from these positions if you jump out, but but we are interested here in hidden stashes. So, in the corner, you see it right there, in the bush. We got it. Going to the number six. And to do it, we just need to basically run across the fence. Let me show you a bit, a bit of a more of a picture than those tankers. Okay, here you are. Here you see those stuff that usually get marked with your quests. So we are pathing them, and that's basically the end of this area. You see a small wagon right there and the tree. We are coming behind the tree and we see the hidden stash number six. That's all for this kind of area. Right now we are going to the beach. There is also another scuff exit called hideout in the grotto. And there is a PMC exit that, that is called northern checkpoint. Exit number five right now for me. You can pass right there, jumping on the on that bunch of a lock or just go out of the hole in the fence. We are going through the hole. So here's your exit. And we are just near the number seven hidden stash. There would be a total of three hidden stashes in this area. I'll help you to find this one a little bit easier. You see those small like conuses small signs on the road, the one that is closest, closest to the road, there your stash. You see that stone, you come across it, and there is your stash. Nice, stash number seven, if I remember correctly. Going to the stash number eight. Again, apologizing for my English. I just want to help you guys out there to find those hidden stashes because for me they are like a, a Klondike of gold. They are helping me to earn money. If you're not that giga chat guy that killing everyone, they are basically for you. Okay, we are close near the hidden stash number eight. You see the those stuff and two pile of locks, you just go left. You go near that bush and you find your stash right there. Nice, pretty easy, aren't it? 
those water pipes. I wanted to call them like that. Something like that. Water, water, water pipes. Next step would be basically directly near the exit. Here's the exit. But be careful, somewhere in this area, maybe there or there, there will be landmines that will screw your life really hard. So be careful, you better choose the beach side of the place. Okay, so here's the exit, and here's a little bit of water. We are going through it. Jumping on that stone, and you already see your hidden stash, right? There it is. That's why I'm going to choose another, another way. So basically that's like we across the map in a half. That's it. That's a half. Other stash would be pretty far from this place, so I'm just going to speed forward speed it up. So we are going across. Maybe there are some kind of other stashes, but I didn't find them yet. And as far as I know, this video up to date, up to day is the biggest collection of all hidden stashes you can find. I've never seen more of them. So we knew a little bit of area. The sniper rock. Sniper tree it's called, I believe. Here is your cottage number two and number one. We just passed this. The first mountain or close, and we're going to. And there's a little fallen. Going all the way up. The first key point where you should find this stash is this big rock. It's it's definitely biggest out there. And also you can see the cottage number one, so you go forward, then you see this rock, which is quite like bigger than the other ones, and you just take in left. Here's your stash. Okay, got it. Going straight forward again. Like I said you, we are going only forward and basically making a big circle around the map. This place is called Landing Stage. There is also a scuff exit hideout in the Landing Stage. And there is also another hidden stash. You can also take one of the spawn points as PMC right there, right there. So you can actually loot this, loot this place if you're running towards the base. Okay, the next one is placed right under this bridge in the rocks. I hope you're seeing it. Good, okay. We are running to the next one. They're kinda easy to mess around with. Just remember, it is not this place, not this one. We need to go a little bit further. Okay, here we are. To find the next hidden stash, you need to block your view on this uh, grotto. And there is this stash. You can find it right there. There is also a side tunnel extract with the PMC. You can take it with the PMC and the scuff. There is also another hidden stash, but I'm gonna show you all the other ones before going to them. Okay, we are seeing the lighthouse itself actually. And there is a rock number one. And rock number two. So you can see the rock right there. And your hidden stage placed right here. Okay. But be careful, there is a sniper out there. If 
find the next one we are going near the shore you see this small island with the car you're going right there and finding the next stash easy there is a total of four stashes that is left that i'm gonna show you the one is is um, somewhere on that mountain but we are gonna climb it later right now we are going to the southern road and i'm gonna show you the stash that is right there right near that exit that that is actually a quite good way out of the cottages so you just go back backwards with what i'm doing here you can load those stashes when you're running out of the cottages okay to find the next stash you're basically jumping out of that mountain like that be careful there and then you see this fence that is ending right there you're coming here looking on your right seeing the orange tree there is your stash there it is okay nice another problem is like how we going to up okay i kind of spot the way in I'm gonna show you how you're gonna climb down as well. You basically go there and do it doing it really really carefully. Okay, to find the next stash, you see those two rocks, right? You climb the left one. You don't need to jump. You can just walk straight forward like that. There is our hidden stash. Number something something. I can't recall it. Okay, I'm giving you a little bit of perspective where I'm standing. There is a place where we loot the first hidden stash. That's the other one. And that's the lighthouse. There is an extract called side tunnel. And we are going to the next stash. We can just climb down right there. Or we just climbed up. You see that black smoke that is coming from the crushed helicopter? There's where we're heading. Be careful, don't break your legs right there. Okay, you see the crushed helicopter, you're just taking the road of stones. That would be really easy for you to follow. And you just go like... You go left, right, and you... That's basically where the hidden stash is. That's it. A little bit of view for you again. Be careful right there. You can be sniped pretty much easily. There is only one last hidden stash left. And I'm gonna show it to you. You see that road? That road. We are gonna find another one. Another road that is up, up here. Up right there. There's a car, chip. Oh, no, no, no. I actually I messed up a little bit. You need to go higher. You're still following the road, but not up. But not down, up. There it is. There's your view of the cottage number one and there is a car and that's how you find those last hidden stash you just take right after the car you see the small rock you see the bush and there is your small hidden stash hiding right there in that little bush okay that's a wrap 
I'm hoping I'm really help you, helped you guys out there. That's all of the hidden stashes I could find till this moment. So if you know the places or maybe other ideas where they could be, you can post them right in the comments and I'll update the video with the screenshots or something like that. Thank you for watching guys and see you later.